so basically events uh, like we can relate with the uh, trigger events uh, like whether it's a, a field field trigger or uh, before update before insert right so these are uh, uh, events in um, visual builder so when 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 we change something before update uh, event will trigger or button so on click so that's an event and event listener is so when when the event happens so uh, so this event listener will listen and then it will it will do some action based on this event so basically it's a connector uh, between uh, action chain and event so action chain is uh, something uh, where we can write our logic when that event happens suppose when uh, field ch field change happened so uh, event listener will, uh, will 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 listen and then it will call an action chain which has the logic We will see in the visual builder so how it will how it will look like so from this uh, first we need to go to the layout and uh, once we go to the layout we can see this uh, different tabs uh, for events event listeners etc so we will highlight on this page okay. opportunity to layout we'll go to the layout and here, if you observe, uh, so you have uh, events tab. So this has the list of events, whatever events we have. Uh, so these are all for uh, uh, CX sales specific events. So this is available by default. So from past few releases, uh, these events were there. Uh, so before, uh, most of these events were not there. So if you observe here, uh, it has some of the events, opportunities on create event, opportunities on delete child event, opportunities on edit event, opportunities on field change event, okay? on header uh, change event. So before smart action event. So these are all different uh, events, right? We have uh, uh, 
um, we have for every object. So mostly for every every object, these these events will be there. And for uh, the event is same, but uh, for, if you open contact object, it will show contacts on after uh, smart action executed events, but event is same for that particular uh, object. So uh, whenever something changes, right? So this event will, uh, will, will trigger and then with this help with the help of event so we can create a event listener okay so suppose here i wanted to default an opportunity okay um so we wanted to default some comments or uh, or any other field So we'll default some comments. So for that, I'll select uh, opportunity on create event. And now next step, it asks uh, to select an um, action chain. So select this create action chain and click finish. Now it will navigate to this uh, event listeners page so for us it created uh, one action chain with the name of uh, opportunities on create event listener so uh, for for a single uh, event uh, right so you can add basically a uh, multiple action chains so here you have one more action chain you can create one more action chain and then uh, you can associate it for the same uh, event listener so that means uh, for one on on field change uh, event so you can um, and that event listener you will add here and to that you can add one or more action chains. So this is called maybe one uh, for one uh, scenario. You can for each scenario you can create one action chain and then you can associate all to one event listener. So here I'll be I'll go to the action chain, and this is the action chain screen. Uh, what exactly action chain does is it it does the actual logic. Uh, after that event fires okay. it has different con components okay so these are all the different actions available uh, with that, that can be used in action chains so action chain will also have uh, two modes one is design mode and another one is code mode so you can you can work with any of the mode Uh, here you can call JavaScript, you can call REST, you can call uh, any other events like if if you want to make it some kind of logic or to execute REST call or uh, JavaScript function uh, conditionally, then you can uh, use if. And if you have an uh, array or uh, so you if you want to loop something, you can use for each loop and then switch, try catch. Okay. So to navigate a to different URL, so you can use open URL. And this is for uh, within application you wanted to, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the internal application, if you want to navigate, so you can use this navigate to application. And these are some string functions, array functions, etc. Okay, so here uh, we will use uh, the uh, JavaScript function. So you just need to drag and drop here. Okay, and then uh, if you come 
to the right side, you can see a function name. It will ask to create a function. So we will say this is at action chain level scope. We will say update opti comments. That's our object function name. And he, once we create it, it will show go to go to function. Okay. And this is the function. Let me add a should. Um, so here, so this is the object function, right? Update the comments. Some extra code added, so we will remove that. Okay, so this code is not needed for us now. I'll comment it. And even this code is not needed. Okay, so whatever the core uh, uh, JavaScript code, so that uh, we will write after this line, after line number twenty-two, and it has uh, the previous and event uh, parameters already passing with the context. So we will have all that uh, uh, context, uh, the row details, etc. in in this uh, with these parameters. So here we need to write the JavaScript. Okay. So uh, for this, we will add this. So this, uh, these few lines, right, will basically take a row uh, from event. So whatever the current row, it will take that and it will create a, a row. And to this row, we can add our changes. So it's a current row, right? So basically we can add uh, our fields. So here our feed is uh, comments. If comment is okay, fine. So we'll try to print uh, the opportunity name also. So row of uh, the field name. So this is how we can get the uh, field name for opportunity name. So this is the API name of opportunity name. And this is the name of uh, comments.
and uh, we need to uh, uh, comment this return previous and we need to add return previous comma row so this will return the change it row okay so this will return this payload uh, so now we will go to the rule sets and this is the uh, create page so we will add uh, the comment or oh, this is um, edit layout so we will go to the create lay layout because our uh, trigger is on create we we'll go to create layout and we'll add the comment field so api name is correct comments name should also be correct yeah okay so comment is added now so now we can preview this So it navigates to the edit page because we uh, we edited from edit page. So again, I'll go to the list page and from list page, I'll launch the create opportunity. Uh, now you can see that a comment is updated with this default value. And since uh, the opportunity kit, opportunity doesn't have any value, so it's not updated. So this will this will get updated only on clicking as soon as you click create. Uh, then on create uh, trigger will will get update will get trigger. So then if you change, so then uh, after create trigger will not work. And then you can use before update or field change event. Okay. So this is how you can use uh, the trigger uh, after um, on on create event trigger to default the values.